Hi, I'm Theron Steindl, golf professional with the City of Madison Golf Courses. Today we're going to talk about long irons. The longer irons in your bag, you know, the six, the five, the fours, the threes. The clubs that most amateurs struggle with on the golf course. What we're going to talk about is the keys to making these more consistent and being able to hit better shots, trying to hit those greens from those longer distances on the course. Uh, basically, the first thing we want to remember is we want to trust the club. The loft on the club is the way the, they're built. Basically, they, the club is meant to help you get that ball in the air and hit the right distances. That's why we have so many different irons in the bag, basically different lofts. So when you get in those higher irons, they're a little more flat, a little more intimidating, but we got to remember, if we just take the same swing as we do with all clubs, that ball's going to get in the air, it's going to fly the right way. So in order to do this, we want to have a nice, smooth tempo. What I mean by that is when people get over these shots, they get a little bit nervous. They try to hit it a little bit harder, make a different swing at it, thinking that they need to do this in order to get that ball where they want it to go. So what we want to do is we want to make sure first off, we've got a good setup, we're lined up to that target, we pick out a target we want to hit the ball at. From there, we're going to take a smooth takeaway, real nice and smooth, not quick. We want to take it away just at a nice, smooth tempo. Now when we get to the top, what we remember, want to remember is we take a nice pause. We're not jerking that club back through trying to make a really quick shot. Real nice tempo will get the whole body in tune with the shot so we can have a good transition down to impact. Okay, so we want to get to that top nice and smooth. Next thing is when we transition with our hips, we want to start the swing. Okay, so we're going to get to the top good and smooth. The next move is going to be the hips are going to turn. We're going to turn the hips, bring that club down a nice swing plane right in the slot and allow it to get down back to the impact position we started. Okay? What a lot of amateurs try to do is try to swing too hard from the top. So what will happen is we get there and the club comes over here. What that will do is it cause you to hit either snap hooks or real fady shots out to the right, vice versa for left handed golfers. But we want to have a smooth transition. Next thing we remember when we turn those hips, we're going to get to a good finish position, swing all the way through, and finish that shot. Have a nice pose at the end so that we're basically, if somebody's taking a picture of us, we look good. We made a, made a good shot and we look confident. We're going to put all those things together here. We're going to hit one. Notice the smooth pause at the top and then the transition down. Again, hold that pose all the way to the end. With doing that, you're going to find that you're going to have more consistency with these long irons. You're going to find that you're going to hit more greens in regulation when you got, uh, you got those good drives out there. Um, with those tips, you'll be hitting the green in no time. 